Hey there, so I'm out here at the park with my Hobby Zone Air Scout, and I'm actually going to show you how to use the wireless trainer function built into modern spectrum radio transmitters. So here we have the DX6. All right, I'm going to show you how I set up my wireless uh, trainer mode to connect this remote to that remote over there. So I go into the menu for this remote and we go to system setup. Then we go to, it's gonna be down here. It's funny, the screen is kind of acting a little slow, I think because it's kind of cold out here. Let's go to trainer mode and a wireless trainer. Turn it on and then we go to bind. Oops. There we go. And bind. So then I turn I turn this remote on by while holding the wireless trainer button on the top. So there we go. And let's see. Trainer operating. So it's nice to have uh, a screen on these because it shows you when it's it's bound. So this is now bound and the way this works is we've got a button up here. As long as I'm not holding the button this is the remote in control. When I press this button I then have control using the second remote. Alright so the way I'm going to actually demonstrate this is I'm going to have uh, someone else who's new to flying the plane actually give it a try while I'm holding this remote in my hand and making sure that they're okay. Whenever they get into trouble, I let go of the button and I take over myself. So right now we're just testing the control surfaces. I'm holding the button down so his transmitter is controlling the plane, but I've shut off this throttle. I have the throttle cut off so he doesn't accidentally take off while we're just testing the surface. I will take control. You're taking off. Okay, can you bring it around? Give it a little bit more throttle. Wow. You're doing it. Turn the other way. Try to just uh, go in a circle. Oh, you're a little low now. So, would you be able to do this if I weren't holding another transmitter next to you? Like, what is it? Does it give you extra confidence? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Because I'm just trying to figure out. You're a little low, so I'm going to. I'm taking over. All right. Oh, here. Why don't you try to film the camera again? Uh, I mean, film the plane again. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm in control. I'm gonna bring it down so that you can try it. Well, you know, it's pretty hard to land, but we can. Uh, oh, it's... Do you want to try to land it? All right, uh, let me get it lined up with the wind, more or less. Okay, your plane. Oh, bring down the throttle. Oh, 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 oh. I think we're gonna have to, um, let me take, I'm taking over. Oh, because <laughs> I think we were a little too close to that yard over there. All right, but let me loop it around one more time to get it kind of lower, a little bit lower. I'm, I, I'm in control now, yeah. Now, I'm gonna... It's your plane, your plane, your plane, your plane, your plane. Woohoo! Did you do anything yeah, on the landing? The, did did the you throttle. Okay, good. All right. 
a successful flight. You took it off, I you survived. flew it, and you landed it. All right, well, anyway, I hope that was a good demonstration of the wireless trainer function on the Spectrum radios. I'm Ari from TechWires Guru, and I'll catch you next time.